Welcome back, everybody. Thank you for being here. Today, I have an integrated amp right here from Black Ice Audio, a United States-based company. This is a tube amp that uses four EL34 tubes, two 12AX7s. It comes in a beautiful enclosure with thick glass panes uh, as your cage. It's removable. And this amp sounds like a beautiful tube amp should sound. This sounds a little more like old school tubes than most modern day tube amps do. So let's talk about this little jewel called the FX10 from Black Ice Audio. So a few weeks ago, I received an email from Black Ice Audio and they asked me if I would like to review any of their products. They have amps, preamps, integrated amps from this little guy that comes in at 600 bucks or so all the way up to their fusion 35 which i also have here uh, evaluating but today we're going to talk about the little fx10 now back in the day you know in the 70s 80s mostly 70s i think tubes were huge uh, people remember those integrated amps from those times as sounding tuby so what does a tuby sound for me uh, hearing my first tube amps so long ago, I remember them being full, lush, um, warm leaning, right? Plump. Uh, they had rhythm and drive, uh, but they weren't, it wasn't like a hyper detailed uh, microscope looking at the music. They were very musical and uh, they had soul to them. Now, lacking in those old tube designs, if we go back to them today, it depends on your taste because some people may find them not lacking at all, but they can be noisy, they can obscure a little detail all in the name of that magical mid-range. Um, but older tube amps, vintage tube amps, if they are refurbished and redone, they can be beautiful and they can bring you the sound of tubes. There are some modern day tube amps that I have found that sound more like solid state and they try to lean them out and give you that detail and that that big wow factor but this amp right here the fx10 is a little beautiful well-made and well-built jewel this is an amp that black eyes touts as providing a big holographic sound stage and that it does but what i like about the fx10 is the el84 tubes I always have a thing for EL84 tubes. They're not big on power. This is only going to put out 10 watts per channel, but Black Ice claims that you can run them with speakers as low as 89 dB efficiency in a smaller room. Now, I tested these with my Focal Diablos, and I also tested them with the 91 dB uh, Alexandria Audio monitors, which I still have here. Uh, they are really, really beautiful, soulful speakers, and this amp sounds really, really nice with them. So one thing that's cool about the little FX10, the first thing that I like about it is it sounds like tubes, but it has a little bit of modern flair. So this is not a new design. Uh, as a matter of fact, this used to be the Gelida Glass FX, I believe is what it was called, and maybe nine, ten years ago, I wanted to order one because it was so affordable. And I didn't because I'm like, there's no way this little 10 watt amp is going to sound good. Uh, and I passed on it. And that's a thing we do in audio sometimes. Those of us who look at expensive gear or own only expensive gear, uh, we tend to not want to look at or take seriously products that come along that are affordable. And this is affordable. It comes with a remote, uh, it comes with all the tubes, it comes with the glass uh, cage. And it's kind of heavy. It's it's a beautiful little amp. And when it's on, there's kind of a light show going on with it. And it just looks beautiful. But I passed on it back then. And now, today, that it was sent to me for review, I was like kicking myself, saying, why didn't you get this thing 10 years ago? Now, I probably wouldn't have still had it if I bought it 10 years ago, the way things go around here. But it is an amp that really really surprised me so when i first put it in the system i had the alexandria audio monitors uh set up and that's how i started and i unhooked the subwoofers um, and i just played the speakers through this amp and i couldn't believe what i was hearing uh, i went from using the avic u150 which is a class d powerhouse when it came out it retailed for like twenty thousand dollars which is insane 
Um, I didn't pay anywhere near $20,000 for it. Um, but that for me has been a wow kind of integrated amp. It has slam, bass, attack, um, and power, right? And it does the detail and holographic thing very well. It's probably the best audiophile integrated amp I've ever heard. But what about musical amps? Not all of us want that audiophile spectacle with the microscopic details popping out and a little bit of that lean nature. If there's one thing I don't like is a mid-band that's lean, right? And tubes, most tube amps from my memory in the past um, have a beautiful mid-range. And this guy is another one that has a beautiful mid-range. The sound of this integrated amp, when you hook it up to speakers it can power, um, is warm leaning, it's very rich, it's very tonally dense in the mid-band, and it has some little sparkle up top, and it has amazing bass. As a matter of fact, the bass blew me away. And this is before I hooked up Black Ice's uh, the F35, the Fusion 35, and I was like, how is this little 10 watt amp delivering bass that is tight, juicy, ripe, and big coming from this little 10 watt amp? I had the subs off, I didn't need them, and I was like, what the heck? And that goes to show you that synergy and system matching is really, really key. This was sounding better than some amps in the thousands of dollars. And I was like, what the heck? And I was like, I'm buying this right now, $625. I can't send this back. It's gorgeous. Um, and as I said, it comes with a remote. The sound does have some of that old school tube vibe but with a little bit of modern twist. Now, Black Ice said this is the oldest design they sell in the integrateds and assured me the, the Fusion, the F35, uh, would be even better. And as I was listening, I was like, I don't know, this is just such a grooving, warm, fluid, musical, rich sound. And I was getting excited about it because it was $625. Um, and I, I was enjoying music for days with this. And I wanted to see then, the next thing I did was I hooked it up to the Focal Diablos. Now the Diablos kind of need some juice to really get going. But the problem with the Diablos is some amps can make them sound too bright because they use that beryllium tweeter. I have found that um, certain amps that are class A, A, B, or D can either sound a little too bright, too much treble information, or just about right with the Diablos. Hooking this up to the Diablos, I did feel it was straining a little bit to power them correctly, and it wouldn't be my preferred choice. But for something like the Alexandria's, for Klipsch Heritage series of speakers, this will make your Heresy 4s, your Forte 4s, your Cornwalls, even your La Scala's sing like you can't believe. Now, if you're already using a tube amp with those, then you know what I'm talking about. Klitsch Heritage sounds great with almost any amp, but they really can deliver some of that magic with tubes. And this is an amp that would be wonderful with tubes. As a matter of fact, uh, Black Ice, the guy I was talking with there, said he uses one of these with his Heresy 4s in his smaller system. Um, so this would be a perfect amp. If I still had my Heresy 4s, I would probably pair it with this little guy. Another cool thing about this amp is the tubes are self-biasing. You don't have to press a button, you don't have to use screws, you don't have to hook up a meter and set the bias. It's all done automatically. And I love this little amp for that reason. If you had to hook up cables like the old carry amps back in the day and have a meter, uh, it would be kind of a pain. Knowing that you could plug this in, hook up your speakers and your source to it, and you're all set to go is a beautiful thing. So I love that it has auto bias. The FX10 has three inputs, two RCA, it's not balanced, and one 3.5 millimeter jack for inputs. So if you have four or five sources, this is not going to be a good amp for you. But if you have one or two sources, say you have your digital streaming and even a turntable, you can hook them up to this without a problem. So three inputs in total on the FX10. So Black Ice also says that the FX10 uses the best parts that are currently available. They don't skimp out on the parts, and I also like that, and I can tell that's the case when I lift this thing up. It's a little 
stout little beast and uh, it feels solid and everything looks, the fit and finish is beautiful. It's actually uh, remarkable when you see it on and you're listening and you, I, couldn't, I can't believe all this music and sound is coming from this amp. Uh, when I start playing some music, right? Depending on the recording, say we get some smoky jazz going on and say we have Melody Gardot or Diana Krall, uh, any of their albums, they're all sounding fantastic. The voice, this is what I like about this amp and other amps do this as well, but some amps do the opposite. In the mid-range, the FX10 brings those voices out into the room. And for me, this is what always gives me goosebumps when I listen to music like that, when female vocals come out, they sound like they're just coming right to you and you like you get the chills and you're like, wow, she sounds like she's right here in the room. Uh, so any kind of jazz, uh, like I said, Diana Krall, her rich, smoky voice, uh, Turn Up the Quiet album sounds beautiful with this amp. Um, it's just a magical experience and you hear the instruments so clearly and delicately and the bass kicks in and you're like, whoa, this lamp is a powerhouse. And again, I go back to what Black Eye says. Uh, they say that this offers up a big, expansive holographic soundstage. And that's something that tubes are known to do better than solid state. And bass is something that solid state is known to be better than tubes in. But I have to tell you, this has some pretty impressive bass performance. It has beautiful, magical mids where the voices live and the highs are not going to pierce your eyeballs out with sharpness uh, or edginess, right, or grit. It's smooth, it's holographic, and it's beautiful. Now, if I queued up some heavy metal or rock or some aggressive music, it still sounded wonderful, but it didn't quite have the impact and scale that the larger Fusion 35 has. And I'm gonna review the 35 soon, this is a beautiful tube integrated amp. It's more of a fully featured amp. You can use all kinds of tubes with it. KT88, KT77, EL34s. I have all those tubes here. I prefer it with KT88s. And this amp, the F35, if you have speakers that are not as easy to drive or you have a bigger room, this amp brings even more tube magic, but it also has a little more of the modern sound up top. So it's not as lush and rich as this little guy, but the F35, the Fusion 35 is a beautiful amp. It has a glass front plate, touch panel to select your inputs. It doesn't have auto biasing, but it has a very easy bias system that takes two or three minutes to complete. I'll be talking about the F35 really, really soon. I'm talking in the next week or so. Um, but for now, the little FX10, I can proudly say this is one of the coolest integrated amps I've ever had come in here. And even though the tech here is their older tech from Black Eyes, 10 years old, I think, maybe more, it still is relevant and it still sounds absolutely beautiful for those seeking the tube sound. Now, how about noise or issues or buzzing? I plugged this in and I heard no buzzing. I heard no noises. It was silent, almost as silent as can be in here. Um, and as far as running warm, it does run a little warm. That's why you have this thick glass pane cage. Now the cage comes off from, you unscrew the feet, you lift up the cage, you could change your tubes. But uh, make no mistake, the EL34 tube is one of my favorites. And while it doesn't sound like uh, a single-ended triode using big 845 tubes, it does give you that tube sound, which excels in the sound stage the richness, the depth, that beautiful mid-range with the vocals coming out to you to greet you. And it's just an all around beautiful amp. I'd say if you have speakers, like Black Eye says, that are eight ohms, I'd say 89 dB or greater, you might wanna check this out if you have a smaller room, it might be all you need. Now, Black Ice Audio is a US company. I've emailed back and forth with them. I get replies with really quick, really quick replies. Um, and these amps are not made in the United States, but they are assembled and tested by Black Ice here in the United States before they ship them out to you. So these were tested before they were shipped to me, the FX10 and the F35. 
They were both flawless out of the box. The packaging was perfect and the amps are absolutely gorgeous in use. So take a look at this little FX10. I'll put a link in the description below to the Black Ice website. I don't get paid for these reviews. I don't make any money if you buy one. I'm not affiliated with Black Ice. I just like to talk about audio gear that I would buy myself, things I get excited about, and I wanna share that excitement with you. Um, the fact that I don't make any money doing this is a bummer for me, and I'm gonna to have to figure that out as we go down the road more, but I love doing these reviews for you, and I love the fact that you guys are enjoying them. So thank you so much from the bottom of my heart, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye. Thank you.